workers. Trouble is there's a mixture. You get all sorts. Some is sapphire, some is rude, and some plain awkward. What I think is that they ought to get on with one another. Can't really do without one another. I don't know what the world is coming to. Everything's changing. They won't need me much longer. It's all to do with them their chips. Chips? I thought there was things in the canteen. But now they keep on about them silly thing chips. What don't need people? What I want to know is, who's going to push the trolley? Whatever has happened to our world today, we hear it's the age of the chips, so they say. Now, not long ago, that would surely have meant that back to the chip shop our tea had been sent. It's the age of the chip! The age of the chip! It's an after your grades, you have to pick! There's now such confusion over what can it mean? A chip shot in golf very often was seen. And if one of ours had decided to wed, we'd chip it together and buy them a bed. It's the age of the chip!
right to the end to find out. Were you in it? No, we were too young. We were in the last musical. What were you? I was a load of pirates. I was in the land of no colour. I was a fully qualified proper pirate. That must have been fun. It was. They were on what they thought was a deserted island. But three castaways were there too, thinking the same. The SS Waterloo arrived by mistake with some youngsters on board, plus some of the crew. The cook's crew played a very important part. That's why the musical was called The Cruet. I'd like to go to a warm, sunny, tropical island. Couldn't we do it again? That would make believe we were really there. You might get frightened by the pirates. Some look mighty tough. I may be small, but just let me get my hands on them. I'm not too sure. The only way to find out is to try it. In our musicals, things usually work out well in the end. We could be the youngsters on the SS Waterloo. Come on, let's go and find the ship and get aboard. But hold on tight, strange things happen.
because they were non-returnable. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Here we are on a beautiful island in marvellous weather and with plenty of food to eat and yet we're still not satisfied. We're rich too now we've found the treasure and still we're not happy. Something might turn up and then we're made. Provided we've got all the treasure out. Come on, let's get on with it. I'm not having you two lays about. <laughs> Maroondon Island, southwest of Tanga, 
please help. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, who are you? Did you send that message? What, well, I'm out? I mean, yes. Now, my man, don't let us about. Don't you think he looks like a Hunter's Starbuster? I mean, look how he's dressed. A pirate, I'd say. I didn't know this that existed. You may be right. Bring him here. Now, firstly, did you send this message? I can't write, sir. Secondly, are you a pilot? I'm trying to be, sir. Aha, uh -huh. I bet you're not on your own. Well, no, sir. And where are the castaways? These are caster? What? Other people. The situation is very serious. I'll have to try and think of something quickly.
with you. I miss my carrot. I love the chase. The kitchen utensils make good weapons. We said we've made a meal of them. Mm -hmm. You could say we cooked their goose or geese. What happened later? The ship tried again, but the Stunted Bay Triangle caused no problems. They came to the land with no colour. But the cook salt sorted that out, although he didn't realise what he was doing at the time. They also ended up on an oil rig, sorting out the broilies of the cook's mustard. It was a fun story, but it showed how difficult or unhappy situations could be sorted out. What other musicals were there? The first one in this theatre was Waxworks Wonders. A group of schoolgirls was taken to a waxworks where they chose to see various ages in history come to life. One of them was the Victorian times in the 19th century. Have you heard of Charles Dickens? He wrote about those times. I've heard of Christmas Carol. I've read that story. That's the sort of times. Things were very hard for most people then. I would have liked to be well off myself. Me too. I'm born to be superior. It's not a to have done some good and helped the poor. You'd have made a good scrub. Squeep, I'd say. You're often getting dirty. I reckon I'd enjoy being an actress. It could have been all good. I think it was. But the only way to find out is to try it out in the scene. Yes, that's a good idea. We can compare notes afterwards. It starts with workers in a factory. Thank you. 
Thank you.
good enough for me. Let him be charged. Take him away. Professor Thinks about 
made the machine in order to travel around the world in an effort to bring joy and happiness to people. When they tried it out, it broke into three bits. The rotor dynamiter flew off and was found in an Austrian village. The bay part sank and was finally discovered deep below the ocean. The children were getting disappointed because they couldn't find the nose cone. One day, when trying to fill up their time, they went down to the local scrapyard. Get 
case of the beer. Better than I do. I wonder if they case the joint first. That would do you two. You never know when to stop. To get in, did they use a skeleton key? Oh! At least we found the nose cone. Did the machine work in the end? Yes, it did. And it certainly made a lot of people happy. What can we see now? I suggest we join in another thing from Waxworks Wonders. Her Majesty the Queen saw extract from that show when she opened the Arts Centre in 1979. It was the bit about London in the last war. It was 1940 and they called it the Blitz. London was being bombed every night and the Londoners took refuge in the London Underground stations. I've seen pictures in some history books in the library. It must have been very frightening. It was a pretend. Perhaps we'd understand better if we joined them deep down into the London streets. Come on, get on your team. Well, I'm open up the same thing every day. You think that black you have anything at all? Because we have some cake for a change. I'm afraid not, Jill. Since I used up all the flower coupons for the month last week. Where's Granddad? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. 
tomorrow. <laughs> now, before we all flood the place with tears, I ain't bought my diving suit. Let's liven up again. Come on, girls, give us one in now before the show. <laughs>
like you open with the chorus. What's that, sir? Just call him. It's a map people 
Because it's everywhere.